Fall is fast approaching and when I saw this yarn I couldn't resist the autumn colors and knew it would be perfect for a make in a day crochet blanket. The blanket that you see here is an oversized throw blanket measuring approximately four by four feet and I used four skeins of yarn. Now typically with this yarn I usually can reach a four by five foot blanket but with this dense stitch you'll have to use five balls if you want to reach that measurement. The yarn color is called Sailor's Delight and it really is delightful. The yarn is super squishy and with this stitch it reminds me of little sailor's knots so I'm really pleased with how it turned out. And speaking of the stitch, we're going to be using the rice stitch, which is an easy one row repeat using double crochets. We'll be alternating between front post doubles and back post doubles. If you've never done those before, not to worry, super easy, especially with this pattern because there are cues along the way to help us know when we need to use which stitch. So there's really not even any counting involved. So with that said, let's get started. For the tutorial, I'm just going to use a solid color with a 9mm hook just so you can get a really clear idea of the stitches. To begin, add a slip knot to your hook and make a chain with an odd number. For example, the blanket that you see today, I started with a chain of 61. For the sample, I'm just going to start with a chain of 15. Next, we're going to do a double crochet into the third chain from the hook. One, two, three. Now this turning chain here does not count as a stitch. And now we're just going to do double crochets in each chain across. Okay, don't forget that last chain right next to the slip knot there. That's an easy one to miss. Chain one and turn. We're getting ready to do our one row repeat. And a quick tip here, we're always going to begin the row with a half double crochet, and then we're going to end the row with a half double crochet. So we've just chained one. Now in the same stitch, add a half double crochet right there. There's our chain. And there's our stitch. Front post and back post double crochet simply means that you're going to be working a double crochet around the post of the double crochet. So when it's a front post double, you're going to begin it on the front of the work. And if it's a back post double, you're going to begin it on the back of the work. And we're just going to be alternating front post and back post doubles all the way across, back and forth until you finish your blanket. Quick tip here, when we start doing our front and back posts, we're always going to begin with a front post and we're always going to end with a front post. So we've done our first half double crochet, we've come to our first post or our first double underneath, and we're starting with a front post double crochet. So yarn over, going into the front, Going under that double crochet, pull the yarn through, and now complete your double crochet as normal. Pull through two, pull through two. And as you can see with the front post double, it raises everything up, very clear and distinct. Next, we're going to do a back post double crochet. How do we do that? We start from the back and we work around the post. So yarn over, Going from the back side, we're going to go around that post, go through, pull the yarn, and now complete your double crochet as normal. Pull through two, pull through two. So here you can really see how distinct the two stitches look. The front post pops to the front, the back post dips to the back. And we're just going to alternate this all the way across. So now we're doing another front post. Yarn over, starting in the front, go around that double crochet post, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Back post next, yarn over, going into the back, work around that post, Pull the yarn through, 
yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. I'm just going to alternate all the way across, front, back. So I'm doing my last front double. We have one double crochet and the turning chain here. Remember that turning chain does not count as a stitch. We're doing our final stitch for the row, which is a half double crochet. We're going to begin and end every row with a half double crochet. So working into that stitch. half double crochet. And you'll have something that looks like this. Chain one and turn. So working in that very first stitch, there's our chain, there's our stitch, half double. So essentially here, we're going to be doing the opposite stitch each time. We know that we're starting with a front post double. If you notice here, it's going on top of a back post. So you're always working with the opposite. So here's a back post. We're going to be working a front post onto it. Here's a front post, and we'll be doing a back post onto it. So always the opposite. So we're doing a front post double, yarn over, go into that post. Pull the yarn through and create your double crochet. Back post. So we're going from behind, from the back, just going around that post, pulling the yarn through, double crochet. And this is why you don't have to worry about counting because these stitches are so easy to pick out. You can clearly see this is going towards the back. So I know that I need to do a front post on it. So I go in the front of it. This one's clearly poking forward or to the front. So I know I have a back post. So I go in from behind and pull the yarn through. The neat thing about this is your hand and your brain gets used to this repetition. And before you know it, you're just doing it without even having to think about it. And you'll be going along and think, oh, wait a minute, I'm losing track. But you look back and know you're not, you've been doing it perfectly each time. So just use those stitches as your guide. If it's popping forward, you're doing a back stitch. When it's tucked under, front. back, we're coming to the end here, last stitch is a front, you can see the stitches sitting behind, front, and then in the very last stitch there, a half double crochet. chain one and turn and just continue on with the sequence. Half double in the very first stitch. Begin with a front post. Back post. Front. back, last stitch, front, and in that very last stitch there, a half double crochet. And you're just going to continue this row after row until you make the size blanket that you want to make.
So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, a like is always appreciated. If you like these one day projects, I'll go ahead and add a link here for another one that you might enjoy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.